The Realme 10 smartphone was initially launched at an event on November 9th, but uh, during the event, the Pro versions were nowhere to be seen. But now, the Realme 10 Pro series is official, and uh, we are going to talk about that and more in today's episode. Hello everyone, I'm Anir for Fiber, and you are watching Daily Fiber. And before we get rolling with the rest of the episode, consider hitting that red subscribe button for detailed tech videos and also turn on the bell so that you don't miss any of our latest updates. With that said, let's get started. The Realme 10 Pro and the Realme 10 Pro Plus have been officially unveiled now. When we look at the renders, you can see that both the phones do share kind of the same design, but when it comes to the specifications, there's a quite a bit of a difference. So starting off with the Realme 10 Pro, uh, this phone uh, features the Snapdragon 695 SoC. Uh, it comes with a 6.7 inch 120 hertz LCD display. Uh, then you also get 5000 mAh battery. You get 33 watt fast charging and there's a 108 megapixel dual rear camera system. Apart from this, uh, when we talk about the Realme 10 Pro Plus, now this phone also comes with a 6.7 inch screen, 120Hz refresh rate, but uh, this one has an AMOLED display. Uh, apart from this, it also features a brand new processor, the Dimensity 1080 SoC. And then when we talk about the camera, there's a triple camera system at the back uh, featuring a 108 megapixel main camera, and it also gets an 8 megapixel ultra wide angle camera, something that the 10 Pro does not come with. Uh, as for the battery, well, uh, 5000 mAh battery under the hood and it also gets faster charging at 67 watts. Now both the 10 Pro and the 10 Pro Plus uh, feature a Realme UI 4 atop Android 14 and when we look at the prices well the Realme 10 Pro starts at $225 which is roughly 18,400 rupees uh, while the Realme 10 Pro Plus uh, prices start at $240 which is roughly 19,600 rupees but uh, given the rise cost of the components given the Indian market and looking at the spec sheet I think the Realme 10 Pro could start in India at a start at a price of 25,000 while the 10 Pro Plus could start at around 30,000 this is what I think but what do you think let me know in the comments new reports suggest that Xiaomi is about to launch two new laptops for the Indian market and the naming of both these machines could be a Xiaomi notebook Pro Max and Xiaomi notebook Ultra Max now we see Xiaomi is taking inspiration from Apple when it comes to the names like Pro Max from the iPhone and uh, Ultra from the laptop line. So that is funny. But uh, apart from this, uh, we don't have any other details regarding both these machines like price, specifications or launch date. Nothing is known as of yet. In fact, Xiaomi is also yet to give an official announcement regarding the development of this, these machines. But of course, we'll get to know more about these laptops in the coming days from leaks and rumors. So we'll wait for that. Popular tipster has leaked the specifications of the iQ11. Now earlier the iQ11 Pro specifications were leaked by the same tipster. But today we are just going to talk about the iQ11. So what do we know about the iQ11? The iQ11 is speculated to launch with a 6.7 inch Quad HD plus a 120Hz display. This is going to be an E6 AMOLED display which is brighter than an E5 display, better color reproduction and also power efficient. Uh, the processor on board will be the Snapdragon 8 Gen 2. Then we'll also get to see 50 megapixel triple camera setup at the back android 13 5000 mAh battery 120 watt fast charging and there are going to be two color options the isle of man which is black and then there's going to be a track edition which is the bmw strip and the white color scheme so two color options so these were some of the juicy details of the iQ11 and it's shaping to be a promising smartphone but I would suggest you take all of this information with a pinch of salt until things get official. Hundreds of Twitter employees have voluntarily resigned from the company but why did they do so? Well, uh, it all started like this. So Elon Musk sent an email to these employees where he said that you guys will have to uh, work hard, there will be long working hours and if you are not able to do so, then you can leave the company with severance pay. And to his surprise, the employees actually resigned. Now I'm sure he, ma he was not expecting something like this but uh, the, the employees are okay with their severance pay, they left the company. Now, at this point, we are not sure uh, how many employees have actually left the company, but uh, a new report is suggesting that Elon Musk did sit with top Twitter executives to convince uh, these employees to stay back at the company. And at this point, I only have one thing to say. Elon Musk, this is what we call tit for tat. <laughs> 
If you have an iPhone and now you want to get yourself an AirPods, but your budget is around 10,000 rupees, well, that's the deal that I've got for you. You can get the AirPods second generation for about 11,000 rupees. Now, I know the official price currently is 15,000 rupees of the AirPods second generation, but as you all know, the flip part uh, Apple Day sale is currently live and we have a bunch of uh, uh, sales and discounts on various Apple products and AirPods are one of them. So the AirPods uh, second generation can be bought for 11,000 rupees after discount that's a solid 4,000 drop of its official price but if you have a federal bank card or if you have a Punjab national bank card then you can get uh, even further discount and that can bring the price down to like under around 9 to 10,000 rupees and for under 10,000 rupees the AirPods second generation make a lot of sense and this is a deal that you just can't miss. And with that, we have reached the end of this episode. So what are your thoughts on today's edition of Daily Fiber? What do you think about the Realme 10 Pro series? Uh, what are your thoughts about uh, people uh, voluntarily resigning from Twitter and Elon Musk trying to convince them? Let me know everything in the comments and I will see you on Monday next week with a fresh new episode of Daily Fiber. Till then, take care of yourself and thank you for watching.